what's going on guys and all that bullshit we'll see what happens with all today's bullshit uh look i think i figured it out so see tiffany likes to play all these shitty games and then it'll blow up in her face and she doesn't know how to handle it and then she like freaks out so the other day when i activated my tinder i was like if she finds me again we can keep on going if not i'm done with this bullshit because i keep she keeps on deliberately being indiscriminate that's her word she called me that so i'm gonna use it on her all the time She tried to make a, look, I told her you cannot use Forex on Uniswap. That's how you know it's fake. I really reported it to the feds. That's why she ran away. To, that's why she ran away to uh, Korea again and all that bullshit. But she didn't run away to Korea because of the feds bullshit. You want to know why? I guarantee you. I don't want to put her on blast, but. Yuna, do you have a Tinder? I don't. I. I don't know if it is or isn't. Cause she had a mask on, but. There was this pretty little Korean bitch. I either liked or super liked in Korea. I took a picture of it, but I don't want to get it right now. All I know is I was. Tindering in Korea. I might have to move to Korea for, or visit Korea. Like, holy shit. I'm going to start, when I get all my shit taken care of by August or whatever, I'm going to start looking at, like, cyber jobs in Korea. Dude, I could do, like, a six-month, one-year stint in Korea. Like, still make a shit ton of money. And, wow, all you bitches look amazing. But if that doesn't work out, then I'll go to Indonesia or some shit like that. Dude, I'm, like, this close. To being like, I am done with Korea, only Nepal and Indonesia from now on. Nepal and Indonesia. I don't see how I could go wrong with that. But we're already dealing with Korea. My grandpa fought in Korea. Let's see if we can give Korea one more gung ho. Let's see, Tiffany is just indiscriminate. Dude, if I didn't have that $50,000 marker with Bayside right now, I would be screaming at this stupid and discriminate bitch. And apparently, her and little Evie friends are like taking another victory lap. Because apparently, they wrote an article about how to like get the attention of a guy you like or whatever the fuck. So apparently, all this is Tiffany's way of like getting my attention. Because I was supposed to call her or whatever the fuck. You stole from my niece, you stupid whore. And on top of all that, I'm pretty sure in her fucking whatever the carbon San Diego mind of hers, like, she thinks she's playing Carbon Sandy Tiffany. That's what, that's what she thinks she's doing. She's like, oh, oh I've been Korea today. I've been like she was supposed to be in Manhattan. She told me she was coming to Manhattan. I'm not going anywhere. She thought I was going to be like, oh, Tiffany's in L.A. I better go to L.A. And then she thought I was going to be like, oh, well, these are all your douchey loser friends. Oh, they must really need my money. Oh, I really like your music. Wow. No, you fucking douchey losers. Why don't you get a fucking job and let your balls drop and stop begging for money like everyone else? You're... I told her her biggest problem, why she's so miserable, all the dudes she knows act like bitches and all the bitches she knows act like dykes. That's what her problem is. That's why all the girls from L.A. come here, and then I fuck them. What do you want me to tell you? Look, I have some bad news for you. One of my poly bitches, bless her heart, I tell her she's on the rebound because she met someone, like, right after me, and she keeps coming over, but, like, uh, just to talk and all that bullshit. And I'm respecting her, because, like, it's really hard, because she keeps crying about shit. And then sometimes she gets me to be emotional, because she's a really good person. I really like hanging out with her. Uh, it's weird. It's like, even though the sex was amazing, I miss the friendship the most. That's the weirdest part. I ne I've never been in that position before. Um, but, um, anyways, um, I was talking to her, and 
she is like, we have to get you done with this Tiffany bitch. I'm going to set you up to all my fashion bitches because Tyson's Corner and all that. Bull Dude, there's a lot. I keep telling you. All the fashion bullshit you see in Manhattan comes from Tyson's Corner. They ain't going to ship that shit to Manhattan. They ship to Tyson's Corner, and then they have the managers take the subway up or take the train up and then spend the night and go to the fashion shows and all that bullshit. So, like, all the fashion models you see in Manhattan hang out in Virginia, in Tyson's Corner. So, anyways. So, starting, uh, they wanted to set me up right now, but I'm going to give Tiffany the benefit of the doubt, because I told her she has until the end of the month before I start doing this shit. And also, I want to get my money correct, because I don't want to be a brokey going out there bang banging bitches. Now, Tiffany woke me up, or I was at the gym, actually, she didn't wake me up, but she asked me, because I was like yelling at her and telling her menopause and how much I don't like her and all that bullshit, and she said, you aren't done with this yet, are you? She said, oh, you are, she, she, my phone's over there, charging, she said, oh, you're not done yet, are you? Like, hurry up, come on, you have to, we're going to be late, you got to hurry up, she's like, treating it like that, she's like, oh, you're not done yet. Oh, I'm not done yet. Everyone. Excuse me, everyone. Hello. Do, 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 do. Hello. Breaking 911. Hello. Tiffany said I'm not done yet. Do, 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 do. Hello. Hello. Tucker Carlson. Hello. Tiffany said I'm not done yet. Do, 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 do. Hello. Hello. Rachel Maddow. Hello. Even though no one watches you, I want you to know that Tiffany said I'm not done yet. Do, 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 do. Hello. Vogue Korea. Hello. Front page of news. Tiffany said I'm not, I'm not done yet. Do, 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 do. Hello. MTV Korea. Hello. Tiffany said I'm not done yet. Do you think I give a shit? What did you think I was going to say? Do you want to know what I said? I said, no, of course I'm not done yet, you dumb, stupid whore. And I started telling her other things, and I told her she has menopause. Why? Because she stole from a 10-year-old child and is acting like she is the victim. Oh, you have a problem with me hanging out with a bunch of douchey losers who want to be friends with you and are upset that you don't want to like look at all the fucking things they do? No, I don't. Because they're losers. Because if they weren't losers, they wouldn't care, care about any of that bullshit. They would be too busy not being a loser. But you hang out with losers. So if you want to hang out with losers, go hang out with losers. Don't steal from kids so you can hang out with losers. The problem is you steal from kids. See, you predicate everything you do with, I steal from kids, but you leave that part out. He's mad at me because I hang out with my friends. No, he's mad at me because I stole from a kid to go hang out who is his niece and is 10 to go hang out with my douchey loser friends who are posers and can't provide for themselves. See, you leave everything else out, okay? Why don't you fill in the blanks? No, but probably what happened was, I need to move to fucking Korea. I need to go to Korea, holy shit, because there were so many hot bitches in Korea on that Tinder that Tiffany put on a skimpy blue dress and flew out to Korea. She does not look... I, she is some chaiball bullshit. Her lawyer is good. I, don't, I, I, need, to, I need to take a seminar from her lawyer because the fact that it's taking this long because hate to say it it's really not that much money it's only 100k she's right about that it's the 10k from my niece i'm upset about you stupid fucking i'm counting again i'm trying really hard okay this is like a lot going on right now Grace, you should have just said yes. Ten years ago, you could have just said yes, and I would have thought you were... I, at the back of my mind, I would have always been like, oh, man, you know, Tiffany Wang, somewhere out there, and every now and then I think about her while I'm being in Grace, but I'm happy that I got the number two beauty queen. But you had to play fucking bullshit games. And now I'm dealing with this indiscriminate fucking stupid K-pop. This is all your fault, Grace. God damn it. Anyways, but I think, I don't want to say, dude, dude, I'm going to have to check out Korea because all I know is I fired up Tinder in Korea and then I fired up Tinder here and she uses passport to stalk me on Tinder. 
and then I matched with, I gave her, I know when it's Tiffany, okay, I know when it's Tiffany, she had the one that was like, oh, I want to get kids, she had the other one that was like, I like boxing and smoking, weed, allegedly, she had the one that was like, oh, you know, I'm looking for a serious relationship, and all that bullshit, she had the one that was like, I'm a Leo, and I have musical acclaim, and all that, I know all of her shits, okay, even that one time when she was stalking me, and I made a hinge, I, I put in my hinge, that um, I was looking for, um, I forgot, like, uh, I said, I'm not looking for a K-pop star, I'm looking for this. And then she matched with me and was like, I'm not a K-pop star, I'm a this. Like, that's how I know it's Tiffany. It's always Tiffany. Like, I can't even go into you. Look. And to, I was supposed to stop, like, hiding and all that bullshit in 2020 or 2019 basically when COVID started, but I kept on hiding because I thought the feds were after me because Tiffany was stalking me so hardcore. Like, I thought she was the feds. I really did. I can't go into it. I thought she was, I thought they were still staking me out for that fucking Silk Road bullshit, allegedly. I cannot believe it. She was just, oh, mad that I didn't call her back. And I totally would have if I hadn't gotten so drunk. You could have texted me. You, you text me all the time now. She's making it like it's my fault. Oh, you're not done yet. Are you done making shitty auto-tune music with my money? See, that's the part she leaves out with my money. If she wanted to dig into her own fucking pocketbook, she could make all the shitty music she wanted to. As a matter of fact, as I understand it, she already has been. Okay? You think I didn't know about all this bullshit? The first thing I did when she slid in my DMs was fucking... Trace everything she's ever done. Like there's scripts you can do, and there's like tools. I'll, I might post it. One of the one of the OSINT guys on Immunify posted a really good one. Also the CIA dude. He's not really a CIA agent. His name is just CIA agent, which is funny. But no, they're like you can Google that. Like they're, you can script it out. Like I know everything about her and all her douchey loser friends, and I don't even care to know about it. I, I don't even have to put a face to it because there's no need. All right, like I I know what I need to know enough about it, okay? I and I didn't give a shit. I was like, that's just their LA is full of losers, and one of my friends, who what, one of my girlfriends from high school, she's gonna get mad. One of my girlfriends from high school, Tiffany, gets mad about everything. She's gonna get if I don't say it now, she's gonna get mad that I didn't say it. One of my girlfriends from high school came from uh, California, and she was Miss California Teen USA. And she grew up and became like Miss USA, some pageant thingy, but not like the national one. Really fucking hot. She did a little bit of porn when she got older. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, she's really hot. But she was from L.A., and everyone was her friend, and she liked everyone, and my mom would bake her banana bread, and it was the best ever, and tell your mom that I love her, and all this stupid bullshit, and she just loved everyone, and... And, and the, I'm pretty sure I broke up with her. And, like, she told me she was devastated, but I had to get over it and all that bullshit because, like, she just knew everyone. It was so annoying. The California girls are so open. It's, it's cute when it's to you. It sucks when it's to everyone else because they just fucking stomp their faces into the fucking concrete. That's exactly what happened all the time with Valerie because she's... <laughs> I'm pretty sure Valerie is why I like tall girls. Valerie was tall. She was like almost, she was almost like six foot in high school. That bitch was tall. She was cute. She, I would, uh, we actually, it was through dancing. I used to, I'm pretty good at dancing. I just hate it. I took her dancing one time. Crushed it. Anyways. That stupid indiscriminate bitch and all her stupid fucking annoying ass loser fucking friends I don't need your douchey social circles okay if you have pre-existing social social circles I get it okay 
You think I didn't know that douchey loser worked on villain? I never really knew about it. I didn't give a shit. I didn't give a shit. Why the fuck would she be stalking me if she had anything to do? No, I don't give a shit. She stole my niece's money. I don't even give a shit if she stole my money. It's just 90K. She stole my niece's money. Okay? When she found out it got reported, she just got a lawyer. She didn't return it. She got a lawyer. Said, we can work through this. Try to loan it back to me. Okay? Pranced around Korea with a bunch of fucking douchey ass losers. Came back to LA to prance around with a bunch of other douchey losers. Went to go like spend the night on the couch at some douchey losers fucking studio. Right? Right? The whole time she's like sending me like bath pics and skincare pics and all that fucking I got a shit ton of those. I don't want to get into it. Right? All right. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Love you. You so much. Oh my God, you're my life. All those stupid douchey loser texts that she was sending me. Right? What the fuck are you hanging out with all these losers for then for? You fucking serious? You fucking kidding me? The fucking bullshit is the fucking the balls on this bitch. I fucking swear to God. What the fuck is her problem? And then, your ass tells me you're going to be at your uncle's. You should be at your uncle's right now. Unless that bitch took a direct flight from Korea to motherfucking New... Whatever the fuck her uncle is. She's a liar. Again, she's a liar. Just give my niece back her fucking money. What the fuck? You're so fucking retarded. You're so retarded. You're just, you're just like retarded. I don't, I want to like all these other things, but just, all that comes out is you're retarded. She really thought I was going to be like, oh, well, she's in LA and I'm on vacation. Well, I'll just fly out to LA and we'll have, she can spend, and then I can spend more money on her. And we'll just go prance around together. No, you stupid fucking cunt. Return, I don't even care about my money. Like, legitimately. Legi if you give me the money back, I'll pose you it back to you. I just want my niece's money. You're going to have to give it back because the feds are involved. I, Scout's Honor, I will pose you back to $90,000. I don't give a fuck about it. You stole from my niece, you stupid fucking whore. What the fuck do you want me to tell you? Go prance around LeBron James, all that stupid... And then you fucking posted Instagram pictures, shoved it in my face that you fuck... And you, I told you, I made the video saying I already did all the forensic shit on it and I could prove that it was fake. Okay? She asked me why I did it anyways. I said because it really seemed like it mattered to you. She wouldn't let it go. She just would not let it go. And I was like, okay, well, the worst that can happen is I'll get the feds involved. And she had to get the feds involved. And then she tried it again. Because I liked some of Espa's pictures. whoop de fucking do Didn't you introduce me to Espa? Not like physically, but like, I would have no idea who Espa is. I would still be calling them a Espa if it hadn't been for her with dancing with Katrina and all that bullshit. Like, what the fuck? What the? <laughs> Just return my niece's money. And I'm going to go do other shit. Everyone have a nice day.